Hello students, welcome to the class. In uh, today's class, I am going to discuss two more important examples on linear congruence. The question is, find the solution of the linear congruences. There are two examples. <coughs> First one, 12x is congruent to 6 mod 21. Okay. 12x is congruent to 6 mod 21. Now, this equation is in the form of general form. What is your general form? General form is Ax is congruent to B mod N. Okay, this was your general form of a linear congruence. So, when you compare this with the general equation, here A is 12, B is 6 and N is 21. So, what is the rule? The rule is now to find to find the solution of this general general solution of uh, this uh, equation. First, we need to find GCD of a and n. So a is twelve, n is twenty one. GCD of twelve and twenty one. You know how to find the greatest common divisor of these two. That will be three. Three is our d. Okay, that is GCD notation and when you say the given equation is, it has a solution, whenever this D divides B. Okay. Now here, our D is 3 and B is 6. 3 divides 6. Okay. If 3 divides 6, then that is, what is our D? D is 3. 3 divides 6. The straight line implies 3 divides 6 or you can say 6 is divided by 3. Okay. What it implies? The given equation has a solution. So, given equation has a solution. How many solution? Has D solutions. Okay. D equal to how many now here? We have three. So, three solutions. Okay. Now, we need to find what are those three solutions. For that, divide the given equation. The main equation, whatever equation is given, we re represent it by one. Now divide this equation 1 by d. d is what? d is 3. Okay. Dividing equation 1 by 3. That is d equal to 3. Whenever you divide the equation, what you will get? 4x is congruent to 2 mod 7. Okay. When 3 divides 12, 3 fours are 12, 4x congruent to, when 3 divides 6, it is 2, then 3 divides 21, it is 7. This is how we have written. So, 3, 4x is congruent to 2 mod 7. As we have discussed in previous videos, in videos of linear congruences, now you can write this for 4x congruent to 2 mod 7 as 7 divided by 4x minus 2 or you can write it as 4x minus 2 is equal to some 7p. Okay. Or I want only x. Okay. So x is equal to 7p plus 2 whole divided by 4. Now go on substituting for p p is equal to any value from 0 to n. Okay. Randomly by inspection method. So, that you will get a initial value for which value it is divisible. And p plus 2 is divisible by 4. Okay. When you put 0, it is 2 by 4. Okay. Now, check for 1. When you put p as 1, it is 7 plus 2 as a 9. Okay. 9 divided by 4 is not divisible. When you put 2, when you put 2, it is 7 into 2, 14. 14 plus 2 is a 16. 16 divided by 4. So, we will get a value. Therefore, for p equal to 2, x is equal to what? 7 into 2 by plus 2 divided by 4. That is 16 by 4. So, we will get an initial value x naught as 4. So, this is initial solution of your equation. Now, once you get initial solution, based on this, you can write a general solution. Then, 
general solution is given by you know the formula this is the formula it is xk is equal to x not plus k into n divided by d this is the general formula okay general so for the general solution where what is k where k is equal to k always varies from 0 to d minus 1 values okay d minus 1 values now here for this we have so this general equation for particularly for this equation example we can write it as x naught is 4 plus now k as it is n divided by n also we know n is 71 okay divided by d is 3 okay the equation becomes 4 plus 7 k now go on substituting k values now what is k here k is equal to what is d d is 3 so how many values 0 d minus 1 means 3 minus 1 okay so 0 3 minus 1 is 2 means 0 1 and 2 yes now for k equal to 0 1 and 2 it has a solution so means how many three solutions it has so now go on substituting those values when k is equal to 0 what happens xk equal to we will get a 4 that is what initial value already we have got okay xk equal to 4 that is sorry x x naught when k equal to 1 so x1 equal to what is the formula 4 plus 7k 4 plus 7 k is what k is 1 7 so 7 plus 4 is 11 when k equal to 2 x2 is 4 plus 4 plus 7 into 2. So, 14 plus 4, 18. Therefore, the solutions are the solutions are x equal to 4, 11 and 18. These are the three solutions of given linear congruous 12x congruent to 6 mod 21. Understood? Now, now, second example is given as it is 18x congruent to 30 mod 42. Okay. In the same steps, what is A here? A is 18, B is 30 and N is 42. When you compare this with the general form of a linear congruence. Now, what is the next step? Next step is to find the GCD. GCD of A and N. A is 18, N is 42. Again, your normal regular method. Find the GCD of 18 and 42. So, 18 and 42 common divisor is 6. Okay. Therefore, D is equal to 6 and what is your b b is 30 this 30 is divided by 6 okay d divides b so this implies what the given equation has solution how many solutions is the, it has it have six solutions okay d solutions now in the same procedure call this as equation 1 divide equation 1 by your d by d equal to 6. When you divide this by 6, what happens? 18x. 18x divided by 6 is 3x congruent to 30 divided by 6 by u mod 42 divided by 6 is 7. Now, you can write this congruency as 7 divides 3x minus 5. Or you may write it as 3x minus 5 equal to some 7p or x is equal to 7p plus 5 divided by 3. Okay. Now, now again by inspection method, check for which value it is 
will get the initial value x. Whenever you put p as 0, it is 5 by 3, will not get. Put p as 1, it is 7 plus 5, that is a 12, 12 divided by 3, okay, we will get value. Therefore, for p equal to 1, what is x? x is 7 plus 5 divided by 3, that is 12 by 3, that is 4. So, initial value is 4. So, x naught is equal to 4. Now, once you get this, then the general solution is given by using your initial value. General solution is xk equal to x naught plus k into n divided by d where k is equal to 0 to d minus 1. Now, here xk equal to x naught is 4 s n by d. n is 42, d is 6. So, it is 4 plus 7 k where k is equal to 0, d is 6. Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, d minus 1 up to 5 values k assumes. Now go on finding the values. For k equal to 0, x naught is 4. Okay. For k equal to 1, x1 1 is 4 plus 7, that is 11. For k equal to 2, x2 2 is 4 plus 7 into 2, 14. So it is 18. For k equal to 3, x3 3 is 4 plus 7 into 3, 21. So it is 25. For k equal to 4, x4 is 4 plus 28. So it is 32. And for k equal to 5, x5 5 is 4 plus 35. This 39. Hence, the required six solutions of the given congruence are x equal to 4, 11, 18, 25, 32 and 39. This is how to solve the given linear, find the solution of the given linear congruences. Okay. In the next class, I am going to discuss some more important examples on uh, Chinese reminder theorem and RSA algorithm. Till then, keep practicing and take care. Thank you.